weapon systems disabled. Hello everybody, it's me Alex or the Mint Pickler here. And today we're taking a look at the Consolidated Outland Nomad. The Nomad is the newest um, ship added to Star Citizen. It is a $80 ship. It's pretty much a starter. Um, it's a cargo starter, pretty much. So you can um, cheaply do cargo runs and make some money quickly. Uh, it's got quite a few bugs with it, though. And I think that there's some design issues. Um, and we'll get into those in a little bit. But first, let's get into the interior. Once you step into the ship, you'll be granted by a very um, angular um, look. Very triangular. Everything's triangular. And with angled lines. And on the first step, we have a little cubby here. It looks like you can fit a um, cargo box there, but it hasn't been tested yet. On the other side of the ship, directly diagonal from it, there's like it looks like component access of some sort. And... On the far end, we are, are the then next to it, across from the cubby, there's the bathroom. It has a um, see-through door, like a frosted door, um, which I don't know how I feel about the bathroom, but that's okay. Um, the next area is this corridor to the cabin or to the cockpit, where we have the living quarters. It has living quarters for one person, as this is a one-person ship. Um, has a nice bed. I really like this area. This is my favorite area on the whole ship. I think it feels really RV-like, like the Mustang Beta. And it's just got very good amenities. It's got a full kitchen, a nice bed with like decorations already. I think it just looks in very good, exquisite. In the back here, we have a window looking over the cargo bay. The gimmick of the um, Nomad is that it has an exposed cargo bay. It's like a space pickup. Um, however, it has like living quarters inside so it's like you took a crew cat or um you took a um a semi truck with the sleeper cab and stuck a pickup on the back of it <laughs> the nice thing about this is the cargo bay lowers and has a ramp so you can actually load vehicles in there as you'll see later and here we've got the overall shape of the ship i like how it looks however the internal space isn't very used well um, as you can see, it was a very small internal space, despite being a very wide ship. And I think the reason that we the internal is so small is because on the sides it tapers, kind of like to a point, of, like, and it makes it very hard to use the like it'll be too low for use internal use. And the cockpit's a bit bulbous, but I kind of like how it sticks out, as you get a very good field of view, despite it having um, big support beams. I also very like the entrance. It's got a ladder that, um, and it's got a very good zero G entry. Like you can enter and it pulls in. I remember when you used to like fly into windows and hope that you didn't get killed by the gravity as you entered the <laughs> entered the ship. Um, as you see here, we get a little chair that gets shot up to the cockpit. And as you can see, very good view. The support beams are there, which I like, but it's not as bad as like the Andromeda where you can't see shit. You still have a very open field of view, and I think they did a great job on the cockpit. The cockpit looks very good on the inside, and the um, overall shape of the ship has come to me. I uh, quite like it now. Um, the ship has 24 SU cargo, so it's got a decent amount, um, which you'll be able to make decent profits on short hauls, and you'll be able to do lots of box missions which can be said for a lot of other starters, which still don't have um, proper box mission <laughs> support. And um, it has three size three cannons, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they come fixed, but um, you can probably swap it out for size two gimbals if you want. And up now we have the will it fit section. Where we tried to fit, I tried to fit an Ursa rover, but it just was too wide. There was no way getting it on, so I swapped to a Cyclone. The Cyclone is um, a bit thinner than a Ursa. I think it's like one meter, or like 0 0.2 meters. Like, you know, like it's it's small. It's just a bit thinner, which does allow it to go up the ramp. So that I think we'll be able to fit a rock in there. I just didn't have a rock at the time to test. The, as you see, the cyclone just rides right in. Um, I would back out as you kind of have to jump over the wheel. However, it's not too hard to get out of. I would just back it in. And um, 
there is a little bit of a bug where when you take off, it does like when you raise the the when you raise the um, cargo hold, it will move a bit and jostle. Um, you'll see here in a bit. It's a bit scary, um, so your mileage may vary here, but for the most part, it seemed to be fine. Um, I'm not gonna jinx it, but like you see here, the, the shit, it kind of is jiggling a bit and it kind of rolled over the edge, but it seemed to work. And when I took off, it carried it. One thing you would have noticed on this ship that's different from any other main ship is that it uses a grab lip landing gear, which means it'll float above the ground a little bit. Yeah. However, it'll still be locked in place if you're properly landed. There is a bug though, and it's a major bug. It's if you land on anything other than a landing pad, from my experience, and you get out of the seat, the ship will fall through the planet. Um, I'm sure this will get patched in a future patch, but currently it is a major bug, and it's quite annoying. Um, aside from that though, I do believe that this is an amazing ship. I think it's a great starter ship, and I'm going to use it. I really quite like it for solo play, and I think it takes my uh, the Titan as my favorite starter ship. Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Hope you all hope you see all next time. I'm Alex of the Monkey Pickler here, and I'm out of here. Hope you all have a nice day.